Hi everyone, I'm Pastor Ben Kurth, and I'm privileged to serve here at our Doral campus of Divine Savior Church. Have you ever been paralyzed with fear? 20 years ago, my wife and I took a group of high school students to Ukraine. We have friends there now. I know people with family there now. It's heartbreaking to watch as this beautiful, free, independent country has been aggressively invaded. Yet it's also been encouraging to see the bravery of so many citizens of Ukraine. It's been encouraging to hear about the faith, especially of our brothers and sisters in Christ who are there, even though they don't know what the future holds or in what form rescue will come. Well, where does courage come from to face fears like that or, or anything else we might face in life? Well, th there's a well-known story in the Bible about courage. It's a story recorded in 1 Samuel chapter 17 about David and Goliath. They're in the middle of a war that had reached an impasse. The Israelite army was camped on one hill. The Philistine army was camped on another. A valley lay in between. And every day for 40 days straight, Goliath would come out arrogantly to trash talk the Israelite army and defy God. And Goliath was a pretty scary dude. He was tall, he was strong, he was armored up like a tank. The tip of his spear alone was the weight of a 16-pound bowling ball. So the Israelites were literally paralyzed with fear when they looked at Goliath and listened to him talk. You know that feeling? Some of you are looking ahead into your future and you don't know what to do because all you see are big, scary giants. Challenges in ministry, bullying at school, career change, cancer treatment, fears about inflation, finances, making ends meet, war, and worries about health, and then there's death. There is that gnawing feeling sometimes that maybe somehow all the wrongs you've done are going to one day be held against you and catch up to you. Do you ever feel paralyzed with fear? The Israelites felt this way facing Goliath. But then David goes to King Saul, and here's what he says. He says, let no one lose heart on account of this Philistine. Your servant will go and fight him. And on the surface of things, wow, this, this sounds crazy. David is going down into the valley to fight Goliath with, with just a sling and five smooth stones. Well, how is it that that he, a mere shepherd, perhaps 18 years old, is able to have such courage. Why is he not also paralyzed with fear like everybody else? Well, because here's the thing. Goliath trusted in his sword and spear, but David trusted in the Lord. The whole Israelite army's conversation was Goliath-focused, but David's conversation was God-focused. Because David knew what everyone else missed, that the Lord was in charge. And so when we too take our eyes off God and look to ourselves, we'll always find plenty of reasons to be afraid. But when we place our eyes this season of Lent on Jesus Christ, who went to the cross for us to face our greatest enemy, the devil, well, then we'll also find every reason to have courage no matter what is confronting us. Here's what David said to Goliath. He said, Goliath, you come against me with sword and spear and javelin, but I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. This day the Lord will hand you over to me, and all those gathered here will know that you know, it is not by sword or spear that the Lord saves, for the battle is the Lord's, and he will give all of you into our hands. 
And that is, of course, exactly what happened. With just a sling and a stone, God rescued the Israelites from the Philistines. David overcame the giant, who, to the great surprise of everybody else, fell down dead. He won the victory. Now, maybe David the shepherd wasn't the underdog after all. You see, this story is a reminder for us who live today that, well, just as David the shepherd knew that he had another shepherd watching over him, so you and I do too. Jesus Christ once said, I am the good shepherd. I lay down my life for the sheep. Well, what does the story of David and Goliath compel us to think about then? Well, as David, a shepherd of sheep, went down into the valley to meet Goliath, right? one man on behalf of all the people. So Jesus, our good shepherd, went down into the valley of the shadow of death against the devil on Good Friday on our behalf. And as weak and small as David looked in going up against Goliath, the giant, so too Christ, by all outward appearances, looked to be the underdog. He was stripped and beaten. He was nailed to a cross. He looked like he didn't have a chance. <laughs> but there on the cross, where Jesus was confronted by all the forces of hell, forces far scarier than Goliath, he overcame. Just as David overcame with a simple sling and then finished Goliath off with his own sword, well, so too did Jesus on the cross overcome our enemy, the devil, using his own weapon of death. Jesus won. And so now through Jesus, we have forgiveness. He has removed our greatest fears. He has rescued us from the fear of sin, death, and the devil. Which means one day he will take us home to be with him in heaven, where no bullies will ever be able to threaten us. And there will be no giant fears that will ever cause us to quake in our shoes again. And now with Jesus on your side, you can truly face any giant fear that confronts you. Paul says in the book of Romans in the Bible, he says, If God is for us, who can be against us? The answer, <laughs> no one. You see, courage doesn't mean never being afraid means having the confidence to move forward through your fear because you trust that the Lord is going to take care of you and that he's going to rescue you according to his gracious will, whether here or in heaven. Friends, in just a moment, you'll be invited to sing along with me a song called, He Will Hold Me Fast. And the reason I chose this song today is because I recently saw a powerful video, maybe you did too, of Ukrainian Christians gathered together singing this song in their kitchen, even as the Russian army was advancing upon their city. You know, were they afraid? Yeah, I think so. But were they paralyzed with fear? Well, no. No, because in Jesus Christ, they found courage. And in Christ, so also do we. Let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for going into battle against and then defeating the devil for us. Now there is truly nothing of which we ever need to be afraid so much that we feel paralyzed. Lord Jesus, rescue us when we are in trouble and we cannot save ourselves. Give us courage to face the Goliaths of our lives and help us to always keep our eyes fixed on you. Jesus, be with especially the people of Ukraine and continue to give them courage and, and faith in the face of all their foes. Overcome the enemy, frustrate his plans, rescue your people, and restore peace according to your gracious will. Dear Jesus, in your powerful name we pray. Amen. When I feel my faith fail, cry 
Thank you.